Hey, what up? Welcome to another episode of Wine and Words of Encouragement. As you can see, there's wine in my glass. I can't wait to get into this with you. Um, and we're about to do it. Let's get into it. <laughs> uh, we'll get into the words in a second. Today we're talking about the Canoe Ridge uh, Vineyard Red Blend out of Columbia Valley 2019. So this is a red blend that is uh, heavy on the Cabernet Franc, but has all types of grapes in it. Um, Merlot, uh, Malbec, even Pinot Noir from what I read. Uh, so let's get right into another nose. Blackberry, black cherry, a little bit of like a cinnamon spice here. There's like a little bit of like a kind of like a wet cedar thing going on here too. I'm also getting like this cherry oak thing. So there's like quite a bit of oak or uh, like wood here. I'm also getting like this cherry cola thing. So like it also seems like this cherry is like the basis of this um, blend. Let's go ahead and taste it and see if anything's translating to the palate. It's all a bottle of wine. Um, definitely a lot of oak here, a lot of um, a lot of wood, but pretty pretty great mouthfeel here. Uh, very silky, very um, has some complexities here. Um, I mean, it's solid. It's not one that I'm really enthusiastic about. It's a solid bottle of wine, fruit, for, fruit forward lovers uh, bottle of wine. Um, and if you get a chance, go check it out. That's all I gotta say about it. It's not really anything that's impressive here to me, other than the mouthfeel and there is some complexity here, but it's not, it, doesn't, it, does, it seems a little too polished for me. So anyway, let's get into the words. So I've talked about this before. I've talked about the whole idea of comparing yourself to someone else. And I think in the previous video that I talked about uh, this subject matter, I said that uh, don't compare yourself to anybody else, compare yourself to yourself. I'm gonna go a little deeper on this. Um, I actually think by comparing yourself to someone else, you're limiting your potential. It's okay to aspire to be better. Um, just don't let hate in it. So don't be hating on anyone else because they have something a little bit better and don't wish for their downfall. But Definitely, I, I get it. I, there's there's things that someone else can like and you can like too. There's enough for everybody on this planet. You just gotta figure out a way to get it and not judge the person who got it and try to belittle that person so you feel like bigger and badder. You know, you really have to compare yourself to your movements in life and what you want and how you're gonna get there yourself and don't limit yourself. Once you get to that level, a lot of times what I see is that people get to where they think they wanna get to and then they realize they never really wanted that. There was something deeper there. Um, and so, just something to think about. Um, but that's just what I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to make sure that everybody understands that if you're comparing yourself to somebody, a lot of times you could be limiting your uh, how far you can go in life. And that's all I had to say today. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Until next time, chips.